Thank you, Mr. Speaker, uh, to the bill. Yesterday, I voted against this bill in committee, um, primarily out of concern that it was being presented as something that was agreed to by all four caucuses, um, and uh, that was not an accurate assertion on my part uh, for, for me. Um, and with your indulgence, I just want to talk a little bit about how I came to be where I am today. When we went home before Memorial Day, I went directly to my son's baseball game, and the other two kids wanted to run around, and I didn't want to let them, because, and they wanted to know why, and I didn't want to tell them why. The reason I didn't want to let them out of my sight was because there had been so many shootings that week in, my, in, in our neighborhood. What we've been doing isn't working. I got home from that baseball game to learn of a 17-year-old that had been murdered and a four-year-old who was in an induced coma with a bullet lodged in her brain in another shooting nearby. We've been talking past each other for too long. We're not talking with each other. We're talking past each other. We're not doing something different. Insanity is doing the same thing over and over again and expecting different results. It's not the lobbyist's job to find middle ground. It's our job as colleagues to find the middle ground. Today I'm going to vote yes on this bill and issue a challenge to each and every one of you in this forum to meet me in the middle. Meet me in that place where we respect those who are worthy of respect. We punish those who deserve punishment and protect those who need our protection. This bill contains nothing from that perspective. This contains nothing from a gun control perspective, but it also contains nothing deeply offensive to me as someone who believes in gun control. What you're asking for is reasonable. I believe we have reasonable asks, and they're not included here, and I object to that, but I don't blame you guys. I blame a lot of people and I blame our entire process. Meet me in the middle, please. Protect my community. I don't want your guns. I don't want your guns, I don't want your guns. But I don't want them showing up in my neighborhood anymore. I don't want to be afraid to send my children out to play. And I don't want to hear about any more four-year-old babies with bullets in their brains. Help me. Representative Hammond.